Honestly, this device is pretty impressive. The fact that you don't need any drugs, you can wear it out of the house. Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to today's video and back to Vlogmas day two. So we're starting day two in the same place we left off day one, right in front of the Christmas tree. I'm trying to make this video a little more festive, a little more Christmas vibes. And I got a peppermint tea here. I put soy milk in it, stevia to make it a little sweeter. If you haven't tried putting plant milks in your tea, you should, it's delicious. Anyway, getting straight into the video, today we are reviewing another period product, which it's been a long while since I reviewed a period, pro period product. And this one is for cramps. I know a lot of you are probably interested. I've reviewed some things for cramps in the past and I'm really excited about this one because I think it is the best one I've found so far. And that is Ovira. Ovira is an Australian company and they sent me this little period device to try out for you guys. I tried it out for, I think it was two or three cycles. I really wanted to nail it down, see what I thought of it before I brought it to you guys. A little bit of backstory on Ovira. The owner of Ovira, the founder, struggled with endometriosis for I think several years and that's kind of what drove her to try and find a solution for those period cramps. So she created little Ovira device. So if you do have endometriosis or very painful periods, this device could definitely still work for you. I do have pretty average period pain, I would say. Honestly, we don't know because everybody's pain tolerance is different, but my pain period, my pain period, <laughs> My cramping pain used to be worse right after I came off hormonal birth control. I would get like lightheaded, kind of nauseous, full body effects from the period pain. I think my body has regulated a bit since then and now my periods are still painful but they are totally manageable. Just to say this device, it has a wide range of users that can find benefit in it. With that said, I also wanted to do an in-depth video for you guys. I did an unboxing clip. I filmed myself going through multiple periods. I tried it, vlogging little clips for you guys. And then as I went to go check on them today before I sat down and filmed this, I couldn't find them. I'm pretty sure I went back to delete an old vlog and accidentally deleted them because I think they were like mixed in with old videos on my camera. <sighs> Sad day, but we're gonna move on. And luckily I kept the original box because I am someone who likes to be organized and I also feel like if I still have the original box and it looks new, it still has like that new factor to it. You know, tell me if you guys are the same way, but when I go shopping, I like to keep the shopping bags and like the boxes just for a little while, just to, like extend that shopping high. <laughs> so maybe that's what I was doing with this. But luckily now I can do a kind of an unboxing for you. Now I have opened this before, obviously, so it's not gonna look exactly the same, but you'll get the gist. So the cute cover says, welcome to a new period. So cute. Okay, take that little slide off. Ovira right there. Okay, once you get the little lid off, this is what it looks like. It says, nice to meet you. So cute, love that. This little part up here is the remote control for the device. When you open this up, you have a charger cable for the device, which I haven't even used yet. So obviously it stays charged pretty well. And then you have your little Y cable. So now with this, you connect one end to the remote control and the other two ends go to what Ovira calls the love handles. The love handles are these little sticky sensors you attach to your lower abdomen and then you attach the two Y ends, see how it's a Y, of the cord into those little sensors. So these sticky sensors also eventually lose their stick. I need to switch mine out next time I use it. You do have to replace those sticky sensors. So I do have replacements for them. It says little love handles right there. The replacement comes with three sets and they say the rule of thumb is that you can use those three sets it should last you three months. So essentially it's like one set a period, but I kind of use these sticky ones for at least two periods. So once you hook everything up, this is what little sticky pads look like. Again, you attach them to your lower abdomen and then you take the little remote device here, plug it into the other end and voila, there's the device. So on this little remote control end, there is a power button here and then you also have up and down buttons, which you probably could have guessed it, those control intensity. I don't even think I've gotten into how this works. So I'm gonna mention that real quick. So the Ovira device works by, again, attaching those love handles to your lower abdomen. And when you turn on the device, it sends 
little electrical pulses to your nerves all around the area all around your uterus and those little electrical pulses override your nerves and then they end up blocking the pain receptor from your nerves to your brain essentially is how i understand it but now that you've seen all that i'm going to get into my experience with this device okay so when i first got this device i was a little bit nervous on how to use it but i just whoops I just read that pamphlet, figured out how to use it, and then put it on, okay? Stuck it on, obviously, turned it on. I was also a little bit nervous about how it would feel. So at first, I didn't feel much coming from the device, but I did notice that my period, my period, I did notice that my cramps instantaneously lessened. And that is what the device claims to do. I was really curious about it, but it was true. As soon as I put it on, turned it on, I felt the relief. And then I did have to turn mine up a little bit because I could still feel a little bit of pain. But once I turned it up, you can kind of feel like a tickle, like little electrical pulses around your, your uterus. It doesn't hurt at all. It just like kind of, it's an interesting feeling, just like a little, little something. Also with this, this device, you can wear it under your clothes. So you just put the device on, pull your like pants up over those sensors and then you can clip the little remote control to your pants or wherever and like hide it under your shirt so you can also wear this out of the house i didn't really have to at the time because i was working from home all that sort of stuff but i did just like stick it on left it on for i think 30 minutes to an hour and just hung out for a while the pain went away pretty instantly and then when i took it off the pain didn't come back for several hours so that was a win in my book honestly this device is pretty impressive the fact that you don't need any drugs you can wear it out of the house it's pretty dope okay so I know there are probably going to be a lot of questions around this device dependent on your specific situation. So I'm going to link down below the Ovira frequ Frequently Asked Questions page because they go over tons of stuff. The thing I wanted to point out about the endometriosis is it also can work with people that have fibroids, PCOS, pelvic inflammatory disease. Um, if you have an IUD, copper or regular, you can still use this device. They just say on there, oh gosh, <laughs> they just say on there to check with your healthcare provider. But yeah, so I know that that is a concern because obviously we all have very different levels of pain. We all have different situations. So it's nice that the device is very versatile for that. So the battery life on Ovira, I just looked it up, is eight hours and you can wear it the whole time. So there's not like a restriction on that. I was wearing it for like 30 minutes to an hour at a time and then I would take it off for a while, pop it back on if I needed it. But like I said, my periods lately have not been so intense. I do wish I could have tried this device when I was having more intense periods and kind of put it to a test that way. But for my regular periods, this has worked wonders. It's so quick, so easy. And then I also want to go over really quick how to turn on the device because I did get confused at first. So the little power button like I showed you earlier here, you just hold that down for four seconds and that little white light pops on. That means the device is on. And then if you want to change the intensity from there, you can up and down. Obviously, quick warning, don't use Ovira if you're like in the tub or near water, okay? It is electrical, so just wanna say that just in case. Last thing I wanna mention about Ovira if you are interested in getting one is they do use Afterpay, so you can pay it in installments and this would honestly be a great gift for yourself or for a friend for Christmas. So I thought it was a good time to talk about it on Vlogmas. Ovira also does like a money back guarantee. If you want to try out Ovira for 100 days, that's the limit. If you don't love it before 100 days and you want to return it, you can have your money back. So that's nice. It's like a risk-free trial if you're a little bit apprehensive about using it. I would totally suggest to give that trial a try. <laughs> Overall, it was a good experience for me. The only thing that was bad, I guess, is when I was out and about and I was like busy doing something and I'd forgotten to bring it with me or I didn't know I was gonna start my period that day because usually my period pain is worst on the very first day. So like I was at my sister's house one day and I didn't have my Ovira, so I like was without it for several hours, couldn't try it out. So that's probably the downside, or if like you're at work or something. So if you can plan ahead and pack it with you, just in case on those days around your period, that would solve that. But you know, I was being a space case, okay? All right guys, that is it for today's review. Please let me know if you have any further questions. I hope I covered everything, but if there is anything else you're concerned about, wanna know about my experience, please let me know. 
and I'll be sure to get back to you. And other than that, I will leave all the links down below so you can look at Ovira, try it out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because we still have plenty more videos coming for Vlogmas, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!